Hi, this is Sonia with Artsy Solutions, and today I want to show you how to make a tag in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. So, and I'm using a PC instead of a Mac. So let's get started. So we're going to click on File, New, and it's going to open up a new document. And this is going to be a print file, so I'm going to click Print. And I'm just going to name this tag. And I want my width to be two and a half inches and I want my height to be three inches and I'm gonna leave the orientation at portrait and I want 300 uh, pixels per inch for the resolution color mode RGB color background contents white and then just click create okay and so a new document opens up and what I want to do is I want to create a new layer and you can do that multiple ways you can either click on this little icon to the left on the bottom or you can come over here to uh, layer new and then layer and then click that and then the new layer uh, option dialog box opens up and you can name your layer and I'm going to do that and I'm going to call it tag click OK and now you have your new layer already labeled so we're going to come over here to the left onto the tools panel and you're going to click on the rounded rectangle tool and you'll see in this little uh, there's a drop down box that you can click on the little arrow and you, it gives you options to choose the rectangle tool rounded rectangle tool ellipse polygon line and custom shape well we're going to do the rounded rectangle tool so what you want to do is just come over here and left click and drag to the size that you like release it release your mouse and then up on top on the menu besides shape you have fill so right now it's set to no fill well we want to fill it so I'm just going to click it and you can choose no fill fill gradient fill or pattern fill I want to do a color fill so I'm just going to choose a color and just randomly select whichever color you want and then you can also have a stroke for it um, so I'm gonna click on stroke and you can choose no fill or color fill gradient or pattern so we're gonna do color on this one as well and just randomly choose a color um, I'll just choose gray and you can select how many pixels you want it right now it's set at one I'm going to increase it to four so I just highlight the one type in four hit enter and now it's going to have a um, it's going to have a gray stroke so you can come over here on your properties box and click these little double arrows to make that box go away so you come over here to your layers panel on the tag layer and then you want to right click click create um, rasterize layer okay so now you have your tag and I'm gonna click on the move tool so that I can uh, left click and move this around wherever I want it <clears throat> on the document okay and then I'm going to click new layer and I'm gonna come over here to the the brush tool and at the top on the menu there's this little box you just click it and uh, you can choose your brush and most of the Adobe Photoshop's come already pre-installed with several brushes and um, so I'm going to use the general brush so on the arrow the right arrow under general brushes click it and it'll give you options that you can choose what style of brush that you want well I'm going to choose the hard round brush okay and so we're just going to hit enter so I've got the brush set at 40 pixels and you can increase your size this way increase and decrease your size by clicking on your um, this little drop down menu or oops let me undo that on your keyboard on your you have your brackets your left bracket decreases the size yeah your left back bracket decreases the size 
and the right bracket increases your size. So once you have your um, circle to the size you like, left click so it appears on your document. So right now you have layer one highlighted. So click control and left click on the tag layer so that you can highlight both of those. Then you're gonna click on the move tool and at the top, you're going to align it horizontally. Okay, so it's centered at the top. So you're gonna click back onto the tag layer and go over to the brush tool or eraser tool. And um, you wanna make sure that you have that same brush chosen, the hard round pressure size brush and increase it to the same size as that blue uh, circle. And make sure that your tag layer is, um, make sure your tag layer is highlighted. Put your brush over top of that circle because that's centered in the on the tag and then left click to erase a portion of your tag. Now, when you look at it on the layers menu, you can see down at the bottom, let me just kind of zoom in. I don't know if it'll look, well, no. It only zooms in the, um, the picture. Um, yeah, on your tag layer, it shows that you, you can see a little circle where it's been erased. So if you click on the blue circle layer on this little eyeball, a layer visibility, you can click on it and it won't show that top layer and it lets you know that you did erase a portion of that tag in the same area of where that blue was located. So we click back on layer one and we're just gonna delete it. And you can hit delete on your keyboard or you can come down here on the bottom where it says delete it. There's a little trash can icon. You can click on it. And then for your background, you no longer need it either. So you can click on the background layer and hit delete. And then just go up to image, trim, and you're gonna trim the transparent pixels. And what that does, click okay. What that does is it gets rid of all the extra space around your tag that you don't need. So we're gonna save, we're gonna to go to file and we're gonna save this. And we're gonna save this as a PNG file, a transparent file. And then just save it in whatever document that you want it in. And I've got a file a folder, let's see. I'll just put it in examples. Tag, PNG, save. And now we have a, a tag. So I hope this helps. And if you like this video, um, please um, click like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.